All right. We don't go to this lake very often, but we're here now. The water is extremely low. Look at that. All the way down. I mean, I'm standing on the dock right now. There's our boat over there. You can see how far out like, the water goes. We're gonna try some vertical digging here. It's worked at the other lake, if you like to fish at. So yeah, we're gonna try it here. There's, there's definitely a lot of big bass this lake. We think we saw a muskie get spooked. And there are crappies and panthers too. So yeah, hopefully we can get some on the vertical digging. And yeah, let's get into it. So yeah, I got two rods today, bait caster and then the, the light six pound test rod spinning. My dad also has two rods. He has the speed on and the blue bean on already. I wasn't recording, but first drop, I saw like, it looks like there's a big school under us. So <clears throat> we stopped. First drop, got this little perch on the blade bait. A little bit farther, yeah, try right here. Oh my God, we're definitely gonna get a bite right now. Yeah. It's probably the same school. Yep. There we go. It's a, yeah, it's a massive school of perch. Another little guy about the same size. Oh, got one. Crappy, nice. Oh, this fish came all the way up. Well, I mean, I, I pulled him up, but he wasn't. Uh, I, I couldn't tell. Keep it here. First crappy of the day for me. Nice. Like I said, not as not as big as the other lake, but still. It's good to go. Yeah. All the perch are like the same exact size. Oh, on my light rod, I put a much smaller blade bait on. It might be like a quarter ounce. Or, or, yeah, it's probably around a quarter. But it's definitely a lot smaller, so I think this should work just as well for the perch. Because they, they like the half ounce, so this should, this should work too. It's moving, yeah. Watch. Yeah, it's a, it's a finish. It's not like the drag is not pulling. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, oh, it's real big. Can I like snag a carp? Yeah. Oh, oh. Holy crap. What is it, walleye? No, it's a muskie. It's like a 30 inch muskie. Oh my god, how are we gonna get him in? I don't know. Do we motor towards the shoreline? I don't know. It's like this big. 
Yeah, maybe trying to motor in. You don't think you can grab them? Yeah, but how am I going to get them? Yeah. We are always fun on this one. He's going the other way. What do we do? Is that that's over three inches? What do you? What do you? What should we? Oh my god! Look at. Did we try to get him? Beach him? I think. Which one? There. I think that one. I think it's a tiger muscle or a real like tiger. Oh Alright, so I've hooked the big muskie and we're, I've pretty much tired him out and not completely, we don't have a net. And I, this is a light rod six pound test. So we're just gonna try to slowly motor into shore. He's kinda in a state where he just is following the boat. I think we got some good footage of him. The GoPro might die, but we're gonna try to get him in to the shore. I thought it was like a snook when he first popped up. Get them close, just get those grippers on them. The mouth isn't open. Yeah. Um. All right, so we could not get that muskie up. He just br completely broke the line at the end. We got him all the way into the shore, and I got the grippers out. I don't even know if the grippers were big enough. They're like the smaller grippers that are meant for more for like bass, but we didn't have a net. The grippers, I, I, I tried to get the grippers on his lip, but he would not open his mouth. So then, but, and if we tried to like beach him, that wouldn't work either. Cause he would just get stuck in this really shallow water and you can't grab him. He's like really thick. And even if you did get a hand on him, he would just freak out and swim away. So yeah, there was like, there was no good way to land that guy. Uh, I mean, we tired him out. I mean, he was on there for like 15, 20 minutes. We were pretty far, how, how far out were we? Like, in the middle of the lake. yeah, we were like in the middle of this part. Uh, it, yeah, that was ridiculous. Well, I'm not gonna be using my spinning rod for the rest of the day. I'm just gonna stick with the bait caster. But that was the small spin, like a quarter round spin, just bouncing it. And I didn't really see anything on the screen. And then all of a sudden I was like, oh, is it snagged? And then I realized it was moving. And then I thought, oh, maybe it's like a, like a seven pound bass or something. And then I was like, and then I, I, I remembered that there's carp in here. So I was like, okay, maybe I like snagged the carp. And then he came up and it, it, it was just a massive muskie. But uh, 
I've never caught a muskie before, but I mean, if we had a net, we could have caught him all the way, or we could have landed him way out there. But you get him on your on the worst combo to get him on, in the worst situation. Oh, he's there. He pulled it so hard. He got both trebles. Like, they're biting so hard. See, this is like 25. I mean, the muskies have to be eating these little guys. We're getting them. He may have been on there for longer than I thought. Like, they're all the same. We were getting big ones when Judah was with us. We had a good day out there. It was different from the other lake. Uh, there were, we caught probably like 30 perch. They were all like four inches, but it was still fun to catch a bunch of them. Uh, we caught a good amount of crappies, probably around the same amount as the other lake, but they were definitely a lot smaller. We caught one bass and it was really small. I, I thought we would catch a good amount of bass because in the spring and summer, the bass fishing is pretty good and you can get some big ones there. But. I don't know. Maybe we were in the wrong area, but it's just weird because we could get them at the at the other lake, but not this one. Uh, and then that muskie was just crazy. That's my first ever muskie. I couldn't actually hold them, but oh well. We didn't have the right gear, and it was pretty cool that we get them all the way into shore. Uh, yeah, we had a good day using the fish finder, doing vertical jigging. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Share it with your friends, and we'll see you in the next one.